Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paul Popoya Salas and today we are going to do like what I post on my Insta stories. I'm going to delete your photos instead of my photos. Okay, let's start off with the first one from Lilo Peng. Before I'm starting to edit the photos, because it's not like editing for myself, it's for someone else. Like I do this for a lot of cafe and this one. You have to check out the curling feed or what the mood board, what the theme of the the brief they send you. In this case, it's just like, just look at other people's feed. Okay, Lilo Peng has, I think it's kind of bright and clean. So if she's going to what that kind of theme, I'm going to edit her photo that way. This is the photo that she sent me. I use the Snapseed for this one. It's a free app from Google, which is really awesome. I use it all the time. I feel like this one is really yellow. First thing, I'm going to brighten up the background. I use the selective to eat it, only that part. And the hand is like really wrinkled. So I'm going to reduce the structure and increase the brightness. So it's a little smoother. Do this to all the spots. Now let's make it not yellow. Reduce the temperature, make it blue, find the balance between blue and yellow. And then in the tint, you have to find the balance between green and pink. Now I think the white part is too white. I'm going to reduce the highlight down a bit. And if you are going to what the clean clips white theme, uh, reducing the ambient in Snapseed is really good, like like that, but not all the way down, just a little bit. Okay, now let's play with the curve. The curve is really convenient way, really hard to explain, but it's really good to bring back shadow and still keep the highlight not overexposed. Now we have this color. I wish we have more green. So I'm going to do the selective to on the green part. Increase the saturation and structure. Reduce brightness a bit. Now increase the contrast between the white and the gray part of the ice cream. But then try not to make the white too white. This is the before and after for the clean edit. Mm. And then I think the ice cream has some holes in there and you can remove that hole by using the healing tool on Snapseed. And just paint on it, like so. You can even do on the cone as well. Be patient. This part I'm not sure you can fix it. It's not that bad, it's actually better than before. So that's a good sign. Here you are, before and after. I'll save this go to VSEO to apply a filter on it. This is my favorite filter. It's a bit yellowy and elastic. 
so we're not going to use it for the really clean and bright I prefer H2 H1 maybe yeah HP1 HP2 it's good for that now it's look really Japanese but if you look at the green part the green part is like changed to yellow which is not ideal but that's also not the problem so we can change it individually by going to HSL and then change only the green part make it green again like green towards blue and the yellow is like you can make it not that yellow that's before and after I think that's it okay we're done with the first one another photo from below I'm going to start with Snapseed again it's this one this one starts off really blue so we do not want that kind of blue and green but first thing I'm going to change the perspective like if you see on the wall it's not threatened I can do that by using the perspective in Snapseed and then drag it all the way to make it straight again you can do this in Lightroom but I'm not using Lightroom on my profile I already use Lightroom on my Mac when on the go I'm just using Snapseed I think it's even faster Thinking of the loop of third, if you see the lines on the screen, I think it's not that good. So I'm trying to, I just say, I want everything to be like in that line. The floor is really tricky. This one is harder than expected. Okay. I think this is good. Then we can using the healing tool to hide the floor these two are not as good as in Photoshop so it's like trial and error then you can keep trying this part is too hard to fix I'm just going to black it out by like using selective tool and then make it all black Even this kind of like texture, less contrast, so it's not that obvious that we are irritated. Okay. Let's try to do new again. That's better. to do and then making it not green we have to add more pink sometimes by making hot and cold using the curve again now it looks more balanced than before because brightness like helps a lot in so bring back the shadow you see that part that we try to back out is come back again so I'm going to use this layer view edit it's like layer of editor that you have done before so if you use you see the curve you can paint the all, only the part that you paint will be visible so if you don't paint that black one it's not going to be a black one everything except the black part that you want to hide
this safe and go to the museum. I think this photo is like we don't need VSEO for this one. We maybe use INI Film. INI Film is another app that has a lot of cool filters. Like that. I can tell which one we just have to try everything. I like this one. It's good with the Chinese museum. I think the color is right. A lot of contrast. I like it. But then, if you don't want to see that that thing in the shadow, you can back out the shadow, like make it darker. I think. And then there's a fading tool, so like you can fade things out in the shadow. And maybe dust, adding dust. You can try. This is black and this is a white dust. This looks more like vintage, more like ancient Chinese kind of painting. Yep, just a little bit of that. And then, yep, I think we are done with this. Save. You see the tab? It takes forever for me to eat it, but I can keep going on and on. But then you have to know like when to stop. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Next one, Vivian. Vivian has from my point of view really orange, colorful, mostly food and flowers. So we're going to want that kind of thing. Let's do it. I see that Vivian's photo is like already edited, so. Like no offense, but I think it's like oversaturated at the blue if you look at this photo. So I'm going to use selective tool, put on the blue, and then desaturate it. Maybe brighter, less contrast, less saturation, less structure, just brighter. Put it everywhere that you can see it's too blue. On the wall like this. You see the blue sky affected the wall. Now the wall is turning purple and blue. You can use the selective tool and choose the purple part and then desaturate it. Like make it black and white. Make that purple part black and white. Doing this to everything that like you, you want to hide. Like this blue part that affected the ceiling. Like I don't like it. I would desaturate it. This part of wall is too overexposed. I know it's really hard to explain. And then I think I can straighten it up. When you look at the photo, and if you wonder if this one is like straight enough for myself, I feel like if that line in the middle of everything is straight, then you don't have to care about the other part because it just come like and go wide and go then flat them all the time but if the thing in the really middle is straight then that's good I can pull it up and she looks taller more elegant like that now I can see a difference but then I think I can clean up a lot like the water is really really dirty I mean cleaned up using human touch you can do this to your food to your face like the pimple but this one is like I'm humming the water and I don't know why I'm doing it but it's just look dirty and I I can't you know some photo but I spend like an hour at least to eat it just on the phone after everything on my Mac I do eat it more on the phone even the floor like this you don't need this leaf lying around everywhere it's just distraction people like me you focus on this dirt more than your face yeah leaves everywhere why okay okay <sighs> that's better if i'm using a computer I, I would delete those guys in the background but then on the phone i think you can 
Let's save this and change the color in VSCO because Snapseed is like not good with that. In VSCO, like this photo, if you go for orange, I'm thinking C3. I use it a lot until I remember the picture. Yeah, C3 is like orange and teal to fit with Vivian's feet. But then I think the blue is like coming back again. Oh my god. No blue thing. The orange is really. I think it's too much. It would decrease the saturation. Also, the green. The green look out of place here. Like, really alien world. Maybe make it yellow. Sometimes, if you don't know what to do, like things are out of place and then you want it to look like in harmony you just change the tint or using this split tone make it all the shadow the same color this one I'm thinking maybe purple not that much but a little bit like all the shadow will be purple and then all the highlight let's try yellow now everything is too yellow I'm going to Using a bit of sharpen and clarity because I think it's blurred out by water effect like smooth effect. I don't know if we can put any effect in this photo or maybe the camera is already. But then I like to sharpen it, not too much of the blur. Okay. I still don't like the purple bit everywhere. I think HSL can help this. Let's see. You see the purple? Like I hate it. So I'm going to turn it red. More towards red and then make it gone. I like to bring yellow to orange. I don't know why but just my personal thing. Okay. This I'm not sure about the colors but just trying to make it fit with her feet. Let's see if we can make the sky not blue. Since her feet is like really almost like fantasy world. I'm going to use quick shot to change the sky like completely. Let's see if we can do that. First thing, put on the magic. And then change the sky. Should be something yellow or pink. I think this thing is cool. Yeah let's do that. You can change the sky like so zoom in so it's look more realistic. Be patient. Right, be really patient. Keep painting. You can paint over things you don't want to see. Maybe that. You don't need this. Bye. Sorry, guys. What do you feel? Delete everything? Is that too much? Maybe delete the whole thing. So it's faster. This one from Alice. That. Okay, let's look at her feet. Oh, Alice has a private account, so we can see. So it's up to me now. I think just making it color neutral, not too warm or not too cold. Start off with Snapseed, my favorite. Okay. Looking at this photo, I think I can make everything in the middle. Instagram is about symmetrical, all the blue photo are symmetrical. So I'm going to use the perspective to to make everything in the middle like that where it should be. Looking at the fountain, what I'm focusing now is the head of the fountain. I want that to be in the middle middle of everything. We pull the photo up to make her look taller I think. Okay, like that. 
Okay, this one is opposite to what I did for Lilo Peng. If you don't want to be that clean, but you want to focus more about the background, like in this photo, the background is beautiful. So instead of reducing the ambient, I'm increasing it. So we get more details of the tree in the background and the fairy light. Like so. And now I want the chandelier to be popped out more. So I'm going to increase the brightness in the chandelier, contrast, and structure. Now the, the green leaf look faded out, so I'm going to increase the contrast where it faded out like that. By the way, you can copy and paste your selective tool. And then brighten up the skin because this is like she's really in the shade now. You need to brighten up the skin. Don't forget the tie like that. Maybe the dress too. Like why not? A lot of contrast in this photo but that's okay we pull up the shadow a bit like that let's keep the highlight low but then pull up the shadow you can make black not black if you're pulling up this bit of the curve the black will be faded, like go and go crazy. But then let's just pull up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to. I think I don't have to say anymore. It's like you should be a CEO. If I can choose any filter, I will use A4 for this one. I think it's like really subtle. A bit hipster, but not that much. Look like a theme. Okay, now it looks like maybe more green here. It's like feeling fresh. The blue can become turquoise and brighter. Maybe a bit of a vignette like that. So people look at her more than look at the background. Of course, we want to show the background, but then why not making the focal point in the middle? Like that. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, next one. This is a new two images shot on the Samsung Galaxy. Pretty good. Let's see what her face like. Easy. This one is like clean and color neutral again a little bit blue still really easy to get it okay this one let's start off with quick shot because i want to add i can see the sky is really empty i would add something to the sky like to make it more interesting let's try oh this one oh in the photo like this you have to see where the sun is coming in this photo it's like coming at the right side like you can't put the sun anywhere or the cloud you have to see the shadow of the cloud i use this cloud because there's no shadow in any particular angle like if you use other sky like this one now it's look really fake because the shadow and the light is not consistent this one cool but i prefer this because that's more fun like there's something more in this and then I like this app also because you can add effects like this or that in this one because it's focused on the face I'm going to clean up the face with makeup plus makeup plus is good when you have pimple 
as up like so you can smoothen up your face like that slim up a bit and then you can even change the foundation maybe something brighter like that you can contour your face but I think you don't need in this one apply a lipstick make it like so now let's go to my favorite snapsy just pull up the curve let it do the magic and that's it okay another photo of hers what I see is the background is not straight so I'm straightening it up like that pulling her face down a bit so she looks taller and then the white part is always close again so we're going to pull down the highlight pull up mid-tone and shadow keep the shadow up mid-tone up but then the highlight down and then I want to make the balloon more pop out just increase the contrast increase the saturation you know you can copy it and then if you see it affected the wall we don't want that so we're going to use going to layer choose the brush on this edit and only paint on the balloon the wall doesn't have to be as colorful like that we're going to re seal just a bit of the filters going through all the pieces I think it should be a little bit blue and bright not this fade but more contrast Oh, this cool. A L three. A L three is good. The face is like smoothen, brighter. We can add more exposure like that. Everything is like smoothed out, and I think that's it. This is perfect. Thank you, everyone, for watching this. Please click subscribe, and maybe see you in the next video.